Welcome to the Craze in 10 or Less. This is the show where I give it to you in 10 minutes or under. And if I don't... What you gonna do? Anyway, how much is it costing you? How much is it really costing you? That's the topic of the day. I'm Sam the Crazy Man Vera. Stop backing up. Let's get it! All right, so the topic of the day is the cost of distractions. How much is it costing you? And let's talk about what distractions we're, we're trying to convey here, right? So you're like, Sam, you got another one? I got another one. So <clears throat> I was watching, there's a real estate broker, very popular. He came from a million dollar listing and he was giving up, he was breaking down the things that um, um, to eliminate and the things to focus on to generate wealth, to, to grow your business. And one of the things was distractions. And he's like, you know, how many things do you have in your life that are distracting you and taking you away from actually doing what you need to do to grow your business and grow yourself? So then I started thinking about <clears throat> the community that I'm in. Comics, right? Comics and gaming seem to be um, like best friends, right? They seem to go hand in hand, right? So... Let's talk about some of those things. Let's first identify what are the things that can cause distractions that take our mind away. Binge watching, right? Um, you know, instead of one hour a week waiting for the next episode, people want to binge watch consecutively seven, eight hours, nine hours, whatever that is. Binge watching. Gaming. Solitaire. You know, Candy Crush. You know, Angry Birds. How many times are we on our phones just playing, right? I know I'm a, I am fall victim to that, right? I have, um, it's, it's like mining something. And uh, I, when I'm stressed out, when I'm trying to figure out my next move or what I'm going to do, I tend to just play and I lose track of time and then realize I've been on this damn thing for over an hour. Or just surfing short videos tiktok is infamous for distracting people and then having just surfing 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 just aimlessly looking at meaningless videos that have not that will do nothing to help you so if we the the the, the project of the day is to identify what the put it on a piece of paper and be honest with yourself and don't lie and don't try to justify the reasons well this helps me with my psoriasis or whatever it is just itemize the things that take you away from actually making money. And this isn't for you hobbyists. Just the hobby people that are just doing comics as a hobby. They don't want to be a, don't want to be a business or a writer who's just writing as a hobby or a musician who's a hobbyist. This is for the true entrepreneur. You really want to break in and you really want to make something of yourself, right? So this isn't for the other guy. This is for you. Make a list of all the things that take up your time. Then... Determine what is the number that you think that you're worth hourly and salary that you should be making if you were working those hours. If you're an artist and you're saying, you know what, $50 an hour, whatever it is that you decide, you're a writer, you're an author, you're, you know, whatever you're doing, you're consulting, you're a logo designer, figure out that number and then multiply it by all of the distractions. Now, let's compound it. Let's think about time. Time is not on our side. Time is not our friend. Everyone thinks we have unlimited time. There's no guarantee when you walk out, you're coming back, right? So think about the time that you're distracted. The other guy is out there learning, researching, doing the things that you chose not to do because I'm just not feeling it today. My head's not in the right space. I got into an argument with my best friend. You know, my mom don't understand me, doesn't understand. My wife doesn't understand me. You know, you know, my boss is a jerk. I'm just not, I'm not, you know, I'm going to take a couple of days off. But Joey's not taking a couple of days off. Joey saw that you pulled over on the side of the road and Joey, Joey just went, he accelerated. Right? So Joey's out there trying to get what you just let pass you up. So I think the biggest thing is you got to figure out what it is that you want to do with your life. 
if you if, if it's comics and you want to make this a, a go, then how much effort are you putting into it? Um, and how many things are you, that's taking up your time? Think about how long is it ta- if you're an artist, how long is it taking you to do a book? Now, if you're gaming two, three hours a day, if you're channel surfing and binge watching several hours a week. All those hours could be putting into finishing that book that you never get to finish, but you're always posting about and you're telling people it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, coming. Oh, well, you know what? Something happened. Oh, you know, this happened or that happened or this happened, right? But what you can control is the time that you dedicate to it. And I know everyone's going to be like, well, Sam, well, you know, I need space and I need, I need to detox and I need to get inspiration and I need this. You know, I was on a podcast the other day. It was J.D. Calderon. Oh, no, it was J.D. Rosario's podcast, right? J.D. Calderon was on it. And um, the question came up. I think Daphne posed the question. Um, you know, what is it? What's the movie that you look? You know, that you just have to watch all that stuff. Whatever. For me, it was the art of books. So I'd rather sit down with a nice cup of coffee and a nice chunky art of book by one of my favorite artists, because number one, I'm learning. I'm understanding their process. I'm seeing how they approach perspective. I'm seeing how they approach anatomy. I'm seeing how they approach facial expressions. I'm really studying the masters, the people that that I admire. I'd rather do that than binge watch, which is why binge watching hasn't gotten me anywhere. You know, so it's like when I when I'm a guest on like Nerds It Around, you know, I have to I have to uh catch up with things, right? You know, because that's their niche. That's what they do. They talk about all the movies and pop culture. Um, that's not my niche. So for me, if I want to be a guest on somebody's show, I have to do my homework. And then it requires me to do exactly that and binge watch. But there's a purpose for it, right? Because I'm um, I'm, I'm networking and I'm getting my face out. There's a purpose behind it. Um, but just for the sake of doing it, you know, um, you know, most times I catch TV is at night at 11 o'clock at night when I leave this studio and I go downstairs I'll put something on and 45 minutes into it, I'm knocked out, right? So it'll take me forever to watch one episode because I have to go rewind it and watch it over and rewind it and watch it over. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is, figure out what is it you want to do and how serious you are about it. Because if you're just a hobbyist, then this isn't for you. But if you're really legitimately trying to figure it out and you can't hit your deadlines, look at all the distractions that you have piled up that you're going to find an excuse for. Because that's what we do. We try to justify the things in our lives because it makes us feel good, right? But wouldn't you feel better if you finished what you started over here? You know, if you were ahead of the curve and you 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 have your books out and say, let's say you're publishing your books, self-publish. You got six books already out and, you know, you can start with issue one in the stores and you're already working on seven and issue ones in the stores, then you're ahead of the curve. Go ahead and do what you want to do. Um, but if you're not even close to that and you don't have uh, a database, uh, a stockpile of completed projects, um, then what is it for? Why are you even trying to do this? Whether it's T-shirt making or puppeteer or filmmaking, whatever it is, if you're not all in, then why not? Why, why, you know, don't don't shortchange yourself because the only person you're gonna face is you. And then what happens is you're gonna get you're gonna try to justify it to people around you, and they're gonna go, yeah, I understand, yeah, mm. and they're gonna give you that look. But they're, what they're really saying is, nah, I'm not buying it, homie. It's because you're doing all these things. But they're gonna be nice. They're gonna be respectful. And I don't want that look. When I get that look, I know I dropped the ball. I'm like, oh, they give me the damn look. Damn, Sam, that means I'm making an excuse and they're not buying it. And they're trying to be nice. Oh, hell no. I got to change the game. Anyway, I thought I brought it up. I was watching Ryan Serhan talk about this. It inspired me to really take it. I deleted all my apps, the games on my phone. I was like, you know what? That's me. Ryan, you're talking about me. No, I'm the one playing those apps. Damn. Right? So, got that off my life, and I'm taking a bunch of other things on my life. If you watch that show with J.D. Rosario, you'll find out what it is that I've talked about that I'm actually eliminating from my repertoire, you know, to, so I can focus, so I can hone in uh, my energy and my time and put it to more useful um, places so I can accomplish more with the small little time that we have on this planet, right? So that was the crazy 10 or less. That's the topic of the day. If you have any comments about that, leave it in the comment below. Don't attack me. And if you disagree, that means you're, you're coming up with a reason why to justify all those side things that you're doing. 
I don't need to hear it. That's your thing. You face the man in the mirror, not me. Um, you know, if you have any recommendation on how you eliminate and got rid of some of those things in your life, let me know. If you're successful and you and you're doing all those things that are taking away from your time, Godspeed. That means you that means you figured out the matrix. Anyway, if you like this episode, give me the thumbs up. You know, if you want to be a guest on Cast the Craze podcast, just hit us up. Um, give us a like, subscribe. Talk to you soon. This is the Crazy Tell Less. I'm Santa Crazy Man Rare. Peace.